Hello friends, welcome to Ang Pro Training. This is our seventh video on tips and tricks in C Sharp. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert the JSON data to C Sharp class or C Sharp object, you can say. So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, which is the uh, normal uh, data encoding format in these days which is normally uh, replacing the XML data. So this is the normal data format that we can find on the internet uh, where most of the servers are storing the data in the form of JSON. So in this class, I'm going to show you how you can download the JSON data from our internet resources and how you can convert it into your native C Sharp object. So you have to create a C Sharp class for that and you're going to create the properties for the C Sharp class which resembles the JSON fields. Whatever the fields you have in JSON is going to be stored inside your class properties. So here I have created a class called JSON to a C Sharp object. So for taking the data from the internet resources, we need to create a we need to create an instance of a web client. So for that I'm doing for that I'm using the where keyword where client. So just add the namespace. Yes. So I have to have this system dot net. Now I'm going to declare one more variable called text, which uh, which is going to store the JSON data downloaded from the internet. So where text equal to client dot download string. So this is a method available in the web client class. So this is going to uh, communicate with the server that I give inside here as the string format. So to download the data, I'm using this website, json placeholder.typecode.com slash posts. Here you can find the numerous uh, JSON objects. So for that, in so for this instance, I'm just taking one slash one gives you uh, only one JSON data. So this is the JSON data with user ID one, ID one, title, this thing and body, right? So I'm just copying this URL and I'm putting inside here. So download string method will go to this site and take the uh, data, whatever it will collect from here and store it in the text. Okay, let's run this control F5. Okay, so this is my output, whatever I got there in the website, right? Okay, so now what I have to do, so I'm just removing this. So I have to create a class which resembles all the fields in the JSON data. So I need to create a class with these properties. So how to create a class with these properties? I'm just using the shortcut key. I'm just copying this JSON data and I'm going to uh, the website called json to c sharpcom So this site will quickly convert the JSON or URL to the class, right? Click, hit on the generate. So here you get the class. So just copy this, copy, go back here and now create a new class here. Add a class. Okay, and I'll call this as post, right? Click add. So now I've got this. So just replace this with the data you copied. This is posts, right? So this I've created the class, okay? So which resembles the object, JSON object, right? Now what to do now? So there is a JSON framework which is for .NET. Let's go and download that. Right click here and uh, click on manage NuGet packages. Just browse for that. Newtonsoft. Yes, here it is. Just ins install this. So this is the uh, JSON uh, framework which is available for .NET, right? So wait for until it is installed. So yes, it is installed now. Go and use the methods and classes available there. So now I just created an instance uh, for the class posts uh, where I'm going to call this method deserialize object and I'm making the post as generic class so that I can store any data type inside the objects of post class, right? I'm making just posts as generic. So just add the library for this. 
okay so here it is my uh, newtons of dot json so this is a class available in this library newtons of so dot deserialize object so this is the method which which is going to deserialize the object that is stored in text so text has got the object downloaded uh, from this website now i'm placing that here so this is going to deserialize it and store it in the post now i'm going to print it so i'm using console dot right line so i'm just printing all the fields there in that object just copy this and paste here user id equal to posts post dot user id right okay and copy paste 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 right so let me copy the other fields So save this. Let's run this. Control F5. So here it is. User ID one, ID equal to one. Title is this. Body is this much, right? So we have successfully converted the JSON object to our C sharp class. Well, friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Like our page on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. and join our group on linkedin thank you